six months later or three months later, even like two weeks later, they write you this message and they're like, thank you so much. Right, yeah. Thank you so much for getting me into this. Thank you so much for like helping. Thank you so much for that little push. And then it's like, because as a closer, what's the best thing is that you don't do the fulfillment, but Correct. you get all the gratitude. Right. How was your journey being a closer so far? Well, I think that you can also vouch for this as a closer. The journey is, it's like, it's like travel inception, no? Because it's like traveling inside traveling, it's like going traveling inside yourself to help other people travel through their decision making. Oh, okay. So, because I'm a traveler, I guess that's what I kind of associate it with, but the journey as a closer is like, it's up and down, right? You gotta love the roller coaster of it. But definitely, no matter how low you go, you still never go that low. Okay. You kinda like, I guess if to graph it, for me the journey has gone like, like that, and then you kinda like ride that closer wave. <laughs> Feel the same? Yes, um, being a closer, uh, my work uh, atmosphere is like, you know, flexible. Mm -hmm. uh, even I like to travel it. Uh, if you check my Instagram profile, um, you, you, you can see different places where I have been traveling before. Mm. Okay. Uh, suppose uh, now I am in uh, Mysore. Uh, next, if I am pl planning to travel in uh, Goa, I can uh, work from there. So my work atmosphere is completely flexible. Right. Yeah, no, that's definitely the best part of it. I remember <clears throat> of like, and it's so funny because when I talk to people that I've closed afterwards, because obviously you keep a relationship with these people, right? And I remember I'm like, oh, right, I was in the Himalayas when I closed you. Oh, I remember I was on the beach when I closed. Right, right, right. right. And then you have like these, every environment becomes an environment to close. Correct. Like I've closed people in cafes. I've closed people in the mountains. I've closed people in between partying. Legit. You Good. know, when you've yeah. got like that one already booked call and you're like, well, I'm not going to cancel it now. I remember being in a hotel in uh in rishikesh and there was like this big party happening on the rooftop and then <laughs> i just like because you know obviously it starts early like it's around seven o'clock everyone's there the call was like 8 30 and i just snuck into some room did the call and then and went back so it's uh okay. yeah it's definitely it's so fun the freedom right right yes. uh when you connect with uh, different people mm -hmm. uh, you uh, get to know their perceptions and uh, suppose if you are connecting with uh, other country people to come to know their traditions yeah uh, you uh, when you travel there and if you need any help from them mm -hmm. if you're not familiar with the places yeah. you can get help from them it's the best uh, experience what i came across Definitely. and i started closing people from different regions yeah and like the best thing that i love is when you close someone and then like six months later or three months later even like two weeks later they write you this message and they're like, thank you so much. Right, yeah. Thank you so much for getting me into this. Thank you so much for like helping. Thank you so much for that little push. And then it's like, because as a closer, what's the best thing is that you don't do the fulfillment, but Correct. you get all the gratitude. Right, right. Because you yeah, know, yeah. The, the fulfillment's done by someone and they're also going to get the gratitude, but you're there at the front line. Correct. So they bring you all this gratitude and you're like, dude, all I did was soak up to the call <laughs> and brought, you right. know, my amazing self and, you know, my amazing knowledge that I've learned from mentors or here or there. And, and you know, that's and that's where it's beautiful because you're, you're changing the world without having to do all of the work. Correct. So yes. that's that's what I really like about it, because I guess for my personality, that's always been a big, you know, you want to help people. But then when you start wanting to help people through business and then you realize what's behind, you know, creating a course or creating a product, you know, what's the what's the fulfillment behind that? And you realize that, like, there's a lot of work. And as a closer, you can kind of be that little angel without having to do the whole thing. So I really, really like, yeah, I like right, that. Right. Uh, initially, when I started my, uh, my journey, before that, I was working in a nine to five job. Mm -hmm. I was working in Dubai. Okay, uh, uh, you, you know, it, it's like when you work under someone else, it's like a uh, restricted life. Uh, if, if we want to do something uh, on our own or on a, if we want to travel uh, mm -hmm. to our desirable places, we could not be able to travel because 
uh, it's like you know a line in a cage mm-hmm. exactly that that was my uh, uh, initial days before becoming a closer then i met bipin you know uh, he was enjoying his life uh, traveling <laughs> working uh, coaching the people training them and uh, when i saw uh, as mentees uh, success stories that really motivated me mm-hmm. that's where i started my uh, i uh, completely shifted my 9 to 5 concept into entrepreneur concept aha nice so now i have a flexible timings i uh, i get a uh, uh, call booking through uh, calendly mm-hmm. take them and call and close them it's the best because it, 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 oh, yeah. being a closer is the best because you <laughs> right. get like and i guess for me the thing with being a closer was that like on the you know myers and bricks right the enfj p all of those like personality tests I, i'm really into that kind of stuff and uh, i remember doing the test once and really like on this on the zero to 100 i'm like 94 extrovert right And then when you yeah. want to work online because you want to be come on, it's a digital era. Who doesn't right. want to be a digital yeah. nomad, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. always been my dream as a traveler. I was like, I can figure out a way to make money online. Okay. But then a lot of it is like design, you know, and then it's a, it's all like the marketing is good, but then it's like, you know, writing down this and then it's all like the IT stuff and coding and that's where the money really is. Mm, mm. 94% extrovert, there is no way I can spend 8 hours in front of my computer every day and be happy. Oh uh, yeah. There's no way. So being that closer is just like it's just like hacking the whole online <laughs> because you can bring your interpersonal skills. And I didn't even know I'd be such a great closer. I'd always okay. worked in sales, I'd always worked in customer service, oh. always like the jobs of course. And I was always really really good, you know, I I very often got like management positions really early on uh when I start with a company and everything and I never realized that closing would be a would have been a calling if I would have known about closing 3 years ago I would have never stayed in my 9 to 5 for 2 years <laughs> then I was managing a team in a sales ce- call center right yes, barely sir. making right like barely <laughs> right, making right, right. $2000 a month working all the time managing people coaching people on their sales and then when I found about right. closing I was like oh sh- there's a whole world waiting for me <laughs> same yeah. yeah even I wasted my uh 5 years of uh time you know mm-hmm. uh, two years for my mba which is of no use <laughs> then i <laughs> i got got back into a uh, 9 to 5 job mm-hmm. so there i wasted two years so oh. two uh, there's never any waste though uh, now <laughs> <laughs> right. right yeah and i guess that's why it's so fun to be a closer as well because and i guess that's why i started off saying that you know it's like this journey of ups and downs because if, when you're a closer like you got to you got to be ready to be uncomfortable. Okay. Cuz you're always confronted, right? And then you're confronted with these things like what's your attachment yeah. to the outcome of this call? Yeah. And then it gets really deep really quickly, right? When you're closing and yeah, you're talking yeah. with people about like their problems and you got to be willing to go in there and, and to and and to be a supportive figure of authority when someone's talking about how shit their life is. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's just like You know to be in that position as well as a closer okay. is just it's you 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 have like the possibility to change someone's life if you play your cards right. Exactly. And yeah. it's kind of like I studied social working mm-hmm. before um even being in the business world in any way. And in social working they would always say that you are your most important tool. Mm. You're always, you always continue learning, always continue you know getting more information, getting more experience, always continue keeping yourself healthy and happy. because if as a social worker if you're not in a position where you're mentally stable enough to help someone you can't All right and i feel that being a closer is the exact same thing exactly if you're yeah. not top notch in your life if you're not there in your life where you're able to close yourself right. on things that you don't necessarily want to do okay. then there's no way you can get on the phone and close someone else <laughs> right and then that's where the beauty of being a closer is right? right because it's it's every time you're on the phone with someone you're going through a journey as much as they are right right so, yeah. I, so it's, it's totally funny. opposite to sales you know a sales people they try to push the uh, product exactly. and without understanding the need of a prospect here we try to build relationship and we try to understand them deeply mm-hmm. and we try to uh, give them the possible way of solutions to come up from that pain or okay. difficulty situations mm-hmm. okay here our intention is to help them yes. not to push our product so okay. most of the uh, sales people they try to push the product and reach their target here in closing what i really experienced is that uh, our intention to build relationship uh, get their problems and give them the solution